This thing is a marvel. I, I gotta stop. <laughs> I didn't even mean to do that. It just happened. I don't know if I like that energy. Hey, what's up studs? And there is a very real chance that we are going back to back like Jordan 96, 97. Michael, I know that the first one was sweet, but how much sweeter was this one? Y'all remember that time I got the Venator early? Yeah, the Avengers Tower is on its way. Someone messaged me and said they got their hands on one early, so I bought it from them. I think we gotta take a pizza break first though. Pizza time. Excuse my hat hair, but the Avengers Tower is on the way and it's supposed to be delivered by 8.30 a.m. tomorrow. That is really early, so I'm gonna try to go to bed really early so I can wake up and hit the build grind. Hopefully we'll be able to have a few people come over to help get the job done faster, but it's gonna be a heck of a, a build just like the Venator was. I guess before I go to sleep, I should make sure I clean up the workspace as much as possible in here because this is where the review's gotta be done. So gotta have the review space completely clean and ready to go. Camera batteries charged, you know, all that fun stuff. It's currently 12.40 a.m. Just took my melatonin and I'm knocking out so I can be up bright and early to review the Avengers Tower. My only prayer for the night is still that the land embargo isn't tomorrow at 9 a.m. Because if I get the set at 8.30 and they get to release their reviews at 9, then like, you know, I'd like to be first. Before I go to sleep, this is what the tracking shows. It's currently in Louisville, Kentucky. So it should be in Orlando in a couple hours and then at my door a few hours after that. Good night. No sleep has been decided. It's 6.30 almost, so two more hours until we get Avengers Tower. I decided that instead of watching TikToks all morning, I would distract myself by actually doing work. So I'm reviewing the Republic Bricks Balin Skull ETA shuttle, and it is quite beautiful. I'm actually probably just gonna throw it on the shelf if I can find a little spot for it. I'm, I'm a big fan of this one. I actually think it's one of his better sets uh, from the last year, probably. I thought I would have trouble waking up at eight o'clock. Psych. It's officially 8.30 a.m. and still no delivery. Now we begin the true wait. The wait that has no like end time to it. I'm just like in the void now of like, when will the package arrive? It's the best. It's 8.52 a.m. The UPS guy just delivered this. It never said it was out for delivery or anything. So I was very, very happy to see him show up. So Lego embargoes are always at 9 a.m. And so I'll find out in less than 10 minutes if I'll be able to get the first review of this out later today, basically before any potential review would drop tomorrow at 9 a.m. Still very fortunate and blessed to have even had the opportunity to get this one when I did. Looks like we got a little passport included too, which is pretty cool. Oh, it's got all the Christmas things. How cute. I've never actually had a Lego passport. You'd think it's one of those things I would have, but I haven't. So I guess that's in the collection now, but the Avengers Tower is here, boys. Just lugging it upstairs. This review, I don't want to say say it this way, but it is going to suck to make because I'm not as familiar with the Avengers Tower as I am with a lot of like Star Wars things. So it's just a little bit more intensive for me to like, especially with something as dense as this and as detailed as this, it's going to be a lot more like mental work for me to like make sure I know what I'm talking about and check everything. And there's so many minifigures. So most of them, I don't even know their name. Like, I like the Avengers Tower. I've had it on my display back here, but I don't like it like I like most of the Star Wars stuff where I know everything about it like from my head. Like just haven't committed any of that to memory. So uh, this is gonna be a challenging review to do today. And of course build because it's 5,201 pieces. It's also 9.01 AM and it looks like it was not Avengers Tower Day. It was Magisto Day. So yeah, um, uh, what do they say? Another victory for the Republic. So I figured today I'd give you the full behind the scenes on how I produce a review of a set this size and on this scale all in one day. Like this isn't necessarily the normal process, but like in a case like this or like when a new UCS set comes out and I get it, like this is usually how I go about it. So first things first, gotta line up the box real nice with the background so everything's centered and then I take a picture of the box. So a lot of times I'll have to adjust the lighting quite a bit because you'll get weird reflections on the box on, on the camera and we can't have that. Okay, so you can see like the top right of the box there is blue, right? So we don't necessarily want it to be blue. So we have to keep playing with the lighting or closing the blinds is probably really what's gonna solve that particular issue. You can see no more blue spot there. So little things like that, I spend quite a bit of time on trying to get right for reviews. And then with a thing like the crease on the image, this is something we can fix in Photoshop so that it just looks very pretty for the actual thumbnail. And that's something that I'll have Pearson do when he comes in later. 
The next step will be to get a lot of shots of the box that I can use for B-roll during my introductory, like, you know, how much does this set cost, how many pieces does it have, stuff like that. So I usually just use the tripod, do a lot of nice panning shots on the box that I can end up using. A lot of micro adjustments on, on camera shots I find myself doing these days. In the olden days, I would use my iPhone and just film and talk. And it was way easier to make a review, I'll tell you that. I have, uh, like, I think my reviews have gotten, like, pretty dang good. Um, not to toot my own horn, but, like, I'll watch a review that I did a year ago, let alone two or three years ago. Uh, and I just think it's bad, like just straight up bad. I'm like kind of embarrassed with some of like the camera shots that I used and how shaky some of it is. So that's a big aspect to a lot of it. So I also obviously have to take shots of every side of the box. So it actually is quite labor intensive. <laughs> Gotta turn the box. And then ideally I'll be able to get the exact same box positioning on the flip around. So I'll put a marker down on the table like that, and then we can flip the box around and get the exact same spot on the camera. 30 characters, are you kidding? <laughs> Holy crap, I didn't realize how many there were in this set. 29 actual minifigures plus Hulk, Ant-Man, and Dummy. That's crazy. Now when it comes to unboxing, I've usually got my little pocket knife here, and I'm gonna need my microphone on my camera because I like to have the audio uh, of like the bags crunching and things. Uh, Cause I think that's just fun to have as a little background noise while I'm talking over the unboxing. And one of the little things I learned over the years is to use manual focus when shooting this shot because if my hand goes here, then it go everything goes out of focus. And so manual focus keeps the focus on the tape. Anyway, bam, that was easy. Oh, that's some nice art in there, wow. I think for this one, since the set is so big and there's so many bags, I'm gonna set the camera far away and just do a big shot of me dumping everything on the table. I think that'd be pretty cool. The only thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna change my shirt really quick because I feel like this is not a like shirt I should probably wear for a review like this. There's no particular reason why I would choose to wear a 2010 Lego Ambassador shirt for this video. Just no particular reason. I just, random shirt I took out of the closet. Uh, we're gonna press record on this. Box in a box, my favorite. The amount of stickers in this set is ridiculous. Need all this out of my way, and I don't care. I literally only need to get shots of the sticker sheet and the instructions, so that's why I just threw it out of the way. Sometimes I try to do handheld shots because I think I could be steady enough, and then I'll like watch myself do it, and I'm like, what up? Just tripod, just use it, bum. You bought it. It's about 9.45 a.m. now, had this thing a little bit less than an hour, and I've done all of the intro filming stuff, so I can start building. I also need to start recording my audio for the intro and stuff, so there's a few different things that need to start happening, but I think I'm gonna start building, because uh, I think that's the best way to use the time, and then when uh, Pearson shows up, I'll have him take over building, and hopefully Jared or Matt will be over here later today to also help build, because 5,000 pieces is a long build. So here's all the bags laid out in order. This will make building it a lot easier, as I won't have to search, or uh, you know, Pearson or Jared, whoever, won't have to search for bags for 12 minutes every time they wanna start the next bag. So got it all organized. And then we have a few like miscellaneous items here that are also included in the box. So gotta keep track of those too. I'm gonna start on bag three because I don't wanna build the Leviathans. <laughs> I'll have Pearson build those or something. But yeah, bag three with the base plate, the Avengers Tower begins. The build is moving on and I am finally adding the first transparent blue windows to the exterior of the tower here. Still got a long way to go up. We are not even close to done really with the base it feels like. Just, oh, it's a lot of building. You gotta be kidding me, 24 of these windows at once. Uh, I already did like eight or 10, but 24, what a pain. Literally, a window pain. I didn't start filming with the intention to make that pun, but it just happened. I just added the glass walkway for the double Captain Americas. 
shoot. I remember this scene from the movie though, it was pretty cool. Very cool Easter egg. I don't know if you, just detail, I guess, uh, to have both of uh, the Captain Americas here. I love that, plus some broken glass on the ground. That's pretty neat. If I never build another one of these window panels in my life, I will be so much better off for it. I am so tired of doing it. And I made sure they all face the same direction. There's this little dot on the bottom and I made it face in and on the bottom on every single one. I have now finished the entirety of bag one and Pearson brought up the uh, pieces to connect my section to his section and so it'll connect all of these little bits here uh, all the way up and down the model now. So we're actually getting pretty close with about maybe half the build done there. There's still a lot of bags on the ground here, as you can see, about 21 through 39, and I know he's got a few down there, so really about half the build left, but progress is definitely good. It's 3.30 now, Jared should be here soon. I'm about to record the first bit of audio for the review, and the build is coming together quite nicely, but obviously still has, I don't know how much more to go. It's a yard tall, three feet tall. It's a little bit less than a meter for those of you that don't understand measurements, but uh, overall the build is looking phenomenal. I basically did like a little bit of the review here where I edited like how I'm gonna have everything and then I'm just gonna add in audio and play with the timing so it all fits the way it needs to though. Welcome to my review of the 2023 Lego Marvel Avengers Tower, given set number 76269, nice, with 5,201 pieces, also nice, and it costs $500. Maybe not so nice. I just ordered pizza for a 4 p.m. lunch and Jared should be here any second now. I'm doing a vlog all day showing the full experience of, <laughs> of, of getting the Avengers Tower early and like my review behind the scenes. This is what we have so far. This is where we're at. Okay. You're gonna get you're gonna get book three, which I think is the smallest book, 170 pages. But I knocked this out. I mean, what was this? Maybe it's oh yeah, about the same, 175. I knocked this out in a couple hours. Not, not bad. Is that even a legal building technique? It's just held in by friction. <laughs> I don't know about all it's that. It's literally held in by friction. It's, it's okay. literally not. You can't even put it in right. It's a little hard. You're gonna break this. Don't you flip it the opposite way? Yeah, you're not even looking at the instruction manual. It's way over here. You didn't even look at it. Wrong again. Which I know, shapes are hard, Jared. Wrong again. You can do it. Wrong again. No, don't hit the wrong again again. Running out of off. Did you try putting it uh, long ways? Yeah. <laughs> we had an extra sticker. It took us like 20 minutes to figure out where it went, but Roxxon sticker goes on the canister in the back. So if anyone skips that sticker, now you know. Here, you can put it on because I don't want to. It's on my way back there. All right, 7 p.m. Pearson's calling it a night. The tower's on its last leg here. Jared's finishing it up. All right, it's 110% finished and Jared's leaving. So my long night ahead of me begins now. It's actually 7.22, that clock's an hour ahead. This was a, a heck of a build, and, but we've done it again. Big shout out to Rod for helping as he's a much more knowledgeable Marvel fan than I am, but I sent him uh, my categories of Marvel <laughs> figures here uh, to cross check to make sure that in my review, I got everything correct as far as which characters are unique to this set, which ones are completely like exclusive, never been in anything before. These are just unique variants. These are reused uh, figures and parts, but a different combination of them from other sets, uh, but you could still get all the parts from other sets. And then these are just complete one-to-one -one reuses from other uh, sets from the last few years. Well, I'm gonna be up all night for sure, so I'm running to the grocery store to get a little uh, snack and some drinks because I'm gonna need it. Like, I don't let myself buy this stuff because I like I don't know I don't eat the healthiest, but like, I stop myself. But tonight, I had to. Gotham's relying on one man, <laughs> two mans. Oh, come on, Fred, give me the energy. I need it. So I recorded a ton of audio for the minifigure section, watch a little blackout gameplay, but uh, I put down, like writing down what I need. So I needed to shoot a shot with 31 of the figs, so all of the figures in one camera shot because I don't have that yet, but I already did shoot like little separate things. I have to just go through and figure out what I know I don't have, write it down and then film it and then put it into the footage. It's just after midnight and I just finished the first five minutes and 17 seconds of the review. We are done with the entire minifig section and I have done some work on other sections of the video. So I have 
uh, you know, a little bit of the Quinjet or most of the Quinjet done a little. <laughs> yeah, I did that. Check that out the video. And uh, yeah, I just, there's a lot more stuff I need to film and record audio of. Mostly, uh, of course, the, the bulk of the work now is to the Avengers Tower. It's officially 1 a.m. and I've got about nine minutes of the review done. I've basically got the intro, the whole minifig section. You can see no blank spots, no like, uh, I've been using like black to just notify myself that I need to fill with footage. But got tons and tons of like cuts and shots in here, obviously a lot of B-roll uh, over the audio. And then uh, back here, I need like a shot of the Avengers Tower, you know, with everything set up. And all of the rest of the length of the video will be dedicated to the tower. So if you see the review up and it's, it's whatever it is, minus nine minutes will be how much I talk about the tower. So what I'm doing now is I'm going floor by floor. And so that's Avengers Tower floor one here. There's the audio, we'll bring it in. And so just floor by floor, I am just recording, you know, what I want. And then I'll come back in and film the B-roll uh, right after. So right now we just filmed floor one. And now I'll talk about floor two and whatever's going on on there, which looks like quite a bit. Then floor three, then floor four, then the very top floor. And then we'll talk about some of the exterior and then be done which is still probably gonna take like three hours, but you know, I made it sound quick, didn't I? It's just short of 3 a.m. and I may have just finished recording all the audio for this. So I'm gonna edit the audio together, get it all together here. So the video should end up somewhere around 20 minutes after that. And then I'm gonna come back in and film, I guess the 11 minutes of B-roll that needs to be filmed, but I'll just like play through it and do it as I'm going. And then I edit it in after. So hopefully could finish this in an hour or two. So I kept it really short, sweet, and to the point. And so we only added about six minutes about the tower. Uh, a lot of talk about the figures, a lot of talk about the you know extra builds that go around the tower and all that. Like just tower stuff, but not necessarily the tower. Um, so I, 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 I don't know, I, I did talk about it fast, but I'm also not versed well enough in the Avengers Tower to you know talk about it at length, I feel like. So I think it's a good like, 15 minute review that like shows you everything you really need to know without going too far into detail. I don't know. I think that's more of a casual viewer's review, maybe uh, not as hardcore as maybe my Star Wars ones, but you know, I, I feel like a lot of it's pretty simple. You know, you just look at it. It's like, okay, this is what you got in here. Next floor. Nice. Next floor. Nice. You know, I don't know. I'm oversimplifying it, but I have really enjoyed making this review so far. I just need to finish the job. 3 12 a.m and I have to do about six minutes of B-roll, which takes a lot longer than you would think because I have to set things up every time to do like little 10 second shots. So it really, six minutes might take 60. Camera's been getting heavy because I've been having to handhold it to get the angles for way up high because uh, the tripod doesn't go that high. So you can tell it goes about yay high. I just have to get shots in the last couple spots like up here and then I'll be good for the bulk of it except like the last like outro shots of like the Avengers Tower is cool, and look at all the figures it came with and all that uh, fun jazz. The rest of the files needed are 65, and so we got 65 different clips importing at 20 gigabytes. And that will be the rest of the footage, except for like one thing I forgot to film this. Um, but that'll be everything to complete this video. I have been awake for nearly 24 hours, many of which spent like working on this. So I'm kind of tired of it and just tired of being awake, but like it's everything, you know. It's 5.30 a.m. The edit is done, except I need to film one more small bit to like complete the video basically, I feel like. And also like one more B-roll piece of me like looking at the build, but you know, so close. So 21 hours after getting the set in hand, I have hit render on the review. Holy crap, what a day of work. All right, the upload is officially going up now, so I'm gonna watch through this real quick for 15 minutes while it uploads. If all goes well, it'll be done uploading right about when I finish watching to confirm that to the video is as good as it should be. A review of the 2023 Lego Marvel Avengers Tower, given set number 76269. All right, I've been up for like 26 hours. Everything's ready to go, so. All the lights are going out and I am going to bed at 7 a.m. The video is officially live on YouTube, which means this vlog to my review of the must end now because my job is done. So there you go. That was the full process, making the Avengers Tower review early. Hope you enjoyed the vlog and I'll see you in the next one.